Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. <clears throat> now, in this particular video, I just want to get your creative juices flowing. And I'm going to just highlight one of the most incredible designs around a Power BI report I've seen. Just so out of the box, like, uh, you know, outside the norm of like what you traditionally would think Power BI can do, you know, this just shows you the limit, you know, the unlimited possibilities really with your the Power BI reports and how you how you can develop them to be so engaging for you know yourself or for your team or just consumers around um, around your your organizations. And so this particular report was done uh, for Power BI Challenge Six and was completed by um, <clears throat> by one of our one of our members. So has come up um, through our membership program, gone through our training, has just become you know such an incredible um, you know and valuable Power BI developer. It's just incredible. So Alex um, Baydu, I think is is how you pronounce the last name. Sorry if I've got that wrong, um, but what Alex has done in this particular report is amazing. And so we all had the same data and it, it really just came down to your imagination, your creativity around how to visualize it, right? And so this was about, uh, and this was some insurance data around insurance complaints. And what um, Alex has done is he's tried to summarize the key KPIs, the key information on the right hand side and some um, just with some, just one simple chart around the distribution um, of those complaints throughout the the the, the network or that then the channels that an insurance company sells through but it's all the little things that have been embedded into here right w one is the colors the colors are just you know they're simple they're, they're, they're not overdone um, and they've been used in a in a really creative way also the ability um, to and I'm on a published to web link here by the way I'll show you how you can actually access this as well um, shortly but also just there's so much logic embedded behind just this one page and you can see here that we've got some interesting tool tips based on um, you know based on the uh, selection you make or, or what you hover over as well as we've got you know, a simple look at the, look at this technique a simple line chart embedded into a into a square so it looks like it's sort of like one visualization where it's, where it's actually sort of just a line chart um, hidden in the background and a transparent <clears throat> and a transparent uh, square here so that you can actually see see how how it works and so like say for instance you make a selection here this is these are all gonna you know this is a totally dynamic report as well and so all of these are going to change based on the selections that you make that, that it doesn't change too much there not too much change in, in some of these selections, but <clears throat> but it's just a really concise way to highlight all the key information. Now, also, you'll see here that in this visualization, there's a, a, a question mark up here. And if you hover over that as well, you'll see that that brings up another tooltip, which highlights some other really interesting insights. So, it's, so you think about what is it put into one page here. It's all this information, but we're only looking at one page. It's so easy for the consumer to navigate around. I mean, it's just so creative. I, I, I really, really love it. Um, also, there's some other, I think, some other um, tooltips overlaid on, on here as well. Um, maybe maybe it's not not in some of the, these other ones. But just, the, just also the way that the, these... Like, you know, I'm always big on grids, making sure that your reports sit within grids and just the way that a grid framework has been used here. Um, you know, you've got a grid, uh, you've got a grid here, you've got a grid on this side of the page, you've got a grid down the bottom, but also you've got all these little grids within that grid um, and you've got different colors, you know, all, all, all working, the color theme all works in really well together. Now, <clears throat> and also just the dynamic nature of it as well. Um, the ability to just be able to select just like that and, and have all of the main things um, highlighted to you really, really obviously, like in a really obvious way. Now also down here, which I love as well, is this this sort of technique has been used to highlight um, really outlier information. Okay, so we've got uh, some complaints, right? Complaints by day. But then what Alex has done is he said, okay, well, here's an outlier. And what he's enabled is the ability to click on this outlier by utilizing um, a bookmark. You can click on this, this area here. And what it does is, I believe, 
it takes you to another area where you can investigate just that particular time frame. How amazing is that, right? So <clears throat> I know that this isn't this isn't a, one thing to, to note. This isn't a dynamic um, chart, this one. It's a static one. But if you are able to use this, what you can do is you can uh, enable a user to click through to a certain, you know, if, if, if you want to show an entire time frame, but then really drill down into a specific aspect of uh, your data, well, you can set it up like this where you could say click into something and then only look at that specific time frame and then see the results for that specific time frame. And so what he's done in behind the scenes is he's embedded some different pages that are that are hidden in the power in power bi desktop but can be discovered um, through making those selections and one of the other ways that i like um, how you know other things he's done here is he's he's labeled the page down the bottom here global overview right but you've got these two circles down here as a way to navigate to a different page so check that out so now we're on a different page just by selecting a circle down the bottom of the page and that's diving into broker so again just <laughs> so creative around the navigation i mean i just am in awe of some of the things that we're seeing in the in the challenge right uh this is this is you know in the just the ability to drill down this is this is the complete package in my view just the complete report right a lot of effort has gone into the visual aspect of this but that's what that's what keeps your consumers engaged if, if you were to throw this up on a big screen within your organization everyone would be like show me that report every time you had that meeting every you know they, they would want to be looking at this all the time because it is so engaging it's so informative it's informative and um and it, it's easy on the eye it's easy for you to find the insights that you want right now <clears throat> one thing to check out in our forum in, in in the enterprise dna forum we have um a category called project updates now i'll make sure that this link is uh, provided around the video but if you want to read through exactly how this was made, all of the different aspects of it, I mean, I'm just sort of, um, I've been taking it upon myself to really highlight some of the amazing work that our members are doing, that those participating in the challenges are doing, because it is truly amazing. Some of the, easily some of the best work in the world around Power BI. I have no doubt in my mind about that. Um, and, you know, you can actually read up how Alex did this from start to finish. There's one other thing he's done here as well, which I, I haven't, um, I want to show you as well. So it looks like, if I come back here, just the navigation, you'll see here that none of these, this is the only page that you see. There's no page selections. It's all done with navigation. So if I click through to here, what I think we can do, ah, so he's, so he's embedded another tooltip here. So if you click on this particular but in here he's, got, he's, he's embedded a tooltip on a visual and within that tooltip he's got details about that underlying that underlying time frame i mean that is that is awesome that is awesome because think about it when you're in a when when you like if you're trying to report on something and you want to make it compelling well you want to really dive into the information like the the parts that are most important usually those are the outliers right you want to see why did that happen and so what he's done here is just in a really concise way he's showing why those outliers happened right and and the details around those outliers and it just the, this the the way that it's been condensed into such a seamless navigation experience is what i you know really really like now if you are actually a um so definitely check that out on the forum if you want to read up about, uh, let me just quickly go back there. I just want to show you <coughs> the detail in terms of um, how Alex did it. So he, he went through, he goes through the whole the whole thing. So you can, seriously, you can learn so much by going through this. Um, and this is just one of many. I mean, some of our enterprise DNA experts are, are doing some really comprehensive write-ups as well. Um, it's just a real collaborative atmosphere, which I really like. So you see here, there was it was quite a complicated model, um, but then he walks through how all of the visuals were designed as well. Um, so you know, so much great information there, uh, and so much to learn from. Now, um, now last thing. Um, so in terms of the actual design itself, like if I quickly just go into it, you'll see here that this is the main page. So in Power BI Desktop, this is the main page that we saw. But if you look down the bottom here, all of these other pages have been set up based on sort of this template, I would imagine. Uh, and you'll see that a lot of these are what are appearing in those tooltips, 
uh, so on and so on and so forth, right? And you know, this is what you can do in Power BI now is that you can really create. You know, it's just the the, the variability around what you can do is, is just is just phenomenal, phenomenal. And even my like, I will even admit, even myself, I didn't realize the true potential until we started running these Power BI challenges, and was able to get this diversity of ideas, this diversity of creativity, and that has inspired me around you know what what you can actually achieve in in, uh, in Power BI even further than even I thought. So, so you know that is that is one of the one of the best things that has come out of this initiative that we're that we're doing with it with a challenge and i want you to get involved as well anyone can get involved in these challenges right it's not just those who have upgraded to our platform you can anyone can um and but in terms of those who who are members or who have access through our center of excellence program then you know this is something i rec- recommend getting into as well with our updated um c- certification the enterprise dna certification we actually make it a requirement to participate in these because they just are such um, awesome learning learning experiences if you actually want to also download this particular resource you can do that by coming to a brand new uh, show, uh, challenge showcase module that we have created in our online portal and so you can actually download this um, Alex's particular report here in this particular module here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna close off there. Um, just you know, well done to Alex. This is just you know you you probably heard me mention um, go through a number of these reports lately, um, but I just want to make sure that I'm giving as much visibility to the great work being done by those getting involved in the challenge, and, and, that, and that's really something that I want to continue to do because there's just so much to learn from these. Okay, all the best. If you really like this report, definitely throw it a like. Appreciate it as always, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Got a lot of lot more videos like this, uh, and other, you know, around other great things that we're doing, uh, planned for the very near future. Okay, all the best. Talk to you soon.